I've been telling you about now importance of T cell. After having discussed the negativity, negative points against antibodies, I told you how the vaccines are behaving with T cells. Now I'm going to tell you what is the importance of T cells. Why is it important? CD8 and other cells. It kills the virus. We have discussed that. It, it is also important for elderly because it's less in elderly. And important thing is that it has a long memory of 17 years. This I'll explain to you how 17 years. They, though it is not even two years of the COVID. This is SARS COVID 1, 2. So there was one also which was in epidemic form. It was in 2003. It has a bigger targets to attack. It has 1400 targets, epitopes. Epitopes are the immune targets on which the, the immune cells of the body attack. It is also effective against variants. All these points I'll confirm, show you by a, a different list of things. T cells have a lot of significance. Recovered COVID patients have good amount of T cells. Okay? Those who have lymphopenia, there's a low number of T cells. They actually do very bad, they become serious about illness. Then the, there is a pathological lab investigations, like bowel specimen. Bowel is a bronchogenic aspiration. You put the tube inside the lungs and take the fluid out. You find that the T cells, when they are more, those people are serious illness, they are less, they have less of the illness. Or, and then in the blood cells also, you find the same story. So then, Ultimate confirmation is from the autopsy, which shows re reduced T cells, lymphocyte deficits, and those people who had died, obviously, they were serious enough. And in elderly, also, I have already shown they are less in number and they have a big amount of targets, easy to shoot, 1400 cells. And I'll tell you, as opposed to antibodies, antibodies are only four targets to shoot, they are 1400. Therefore, they can make a fool out of antibodies very easily. And this 1400, how it came, I'll tell you just now. The studies have shown, which has shown very clearly, that if the antibodies are higher, then the cases are mild. And especially CD8 cells. You'll find that. This is literature review immunology. Then, same story. Same thing which I have told you earlier. The Oxford, the evidence-based medicine group of Oxford University raised these questions and came to the conclusion that lymphopenia, which I have told you, lymphopenia is a main feature. When the T cells are reduced, then the more seriousness occurs. And when they are better, then the less serious illness occurs. This is important from Wuhan, where it is started the massive case occurred. This you understand. If you see the CD8 cells, these are healthy cells, non-ICU, ICU. You'll find healthy cells have a good amount of CD8. Non-ICU patients have a good amount of CD8. And ICU patients have less amount of CD8. Yeah. Then you'll find CD8 cells in perished people, go to CD. In perished especially, you'll come to perished means those who died. Again, they are very low. Those who had severe illness, they were low, but mild to moderate cases, mildly serious cases, they had more and they survived. The parish cases also had, it shows very clearly that lower the number of CD8 cells, serious is the illness and chances of death are higher. Here you can see CD8 T cell count, 64.3 in ICU care. Non-ICU care, it was 208. So this is the difference. Age-wise also one can see. In short, I can conclude that the evidences from the clinical side is that CD8 cell should be increased, should be more for the patient to recover. If it is less, the chance of severity and depending on the age and other factors, the chances of uh, perishing are a little more. This is the study, a comparative study from 
a journal which has seen the ball study also bronchoscopic and peripheral blood mononuclear cells uh, by cytometry. Did they find strong T cell lipopenia in the severe diseases? All these are the examples. Similarly, <laughs> stronger T cell lipopenia in severe diseases has again been shown in mild disease or healthy. If the T cells are strong, high, then mild disease is there. In autopsy studies also, similar finding is confirmed. But this study from John Hopkins and National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Disease in USA did a good study. <coughs> they took blood from the 30 patients who were recovered from the normal coronavirus. And they asked from their blood, they saw the T cells and they tested them against the variants. And what they found? They found that the they found the T cell responses remain largely intact and could recognize virtually all mutations. So T cells can recognize variants also in fight. Unfortunately, in this study, uh, the Delta was not included because it was not so prominent at that time. This is from a study from a biobank, autopsy cohort and biobank, published April 29 and April 21, if you can see. This shows very clearly that CD8 is absent in those who have died. Absent. So, autopsy studies also confirm it. Biobank also confirms it. Everything is confirming the importance of CD8. But there's a catch. Don't go by T cells only. CD4 cells are present in healthy donors also. Those who are never infected with CD4. With COVID. Therefore, 35% of the healthy donors. Think of it. So, T4, CD4 is not the real representation of T cells, what we are asking for. It is published in Nature very clearly. SARS CoV 2 reacted T cells in healthy donors and patients with COVID 19. It was published. And I must tell you that this. Is very clear. This makes it very clear that all those vaccines which claim that they are stimulating T cells and showing CD4 responses or TH1 responses, T1 is skewed, means CD4 helper cells are more. It does not make any sense because they cannot give the real desired function of the T cells. Thank you.